Okay, so Apple just announced a couple of really big things. Well, two big things. The HomePod mini and the new iPhone. Now, the HomePod mini, I really want to get a few of these because we actually installed a home intercom system at our house and it's awful. So I would love to have replaced that with something. Now, I know Alexa and Google have both had the intercom functionality for years and Apple's now playing catch up like they usually do. So they kind of have this, we're not gonna be the first, but we're gonna be the best kind of attitude. The intercom feature is pretty cool and I am excited to have that in my house uh, so I can finally permanently replace the intercom system that I have now. The second thing that they announced was the iPhone. Now the iPhone 12 is coming out and you know, as expected, it's gonna be more powerful and it's gonna have more features and all that other stuff. But the big news that everybody's kind of going crazy about is the 5G connectivity. Now, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make for a couple of reasons. One, I don't know how much data I really need, how big of a pipe I really need on my phone. They say you can download you know, higher definition video, higher, you know, more lar larger files basically but I don't know how much I'm really going to do that on my phone so the other thing is if I am downloading super high definition videos on my phone I don't know what this data plan is going to look like I mean every I don't think it's going to be the same you're not going to be if everything's going high resolution high fidelity and larger files but now with larger pictures and everything else I don't know if the you know plans that we're on are going to even cut it anymore. So I would predict that we're going to have to brace ourselves for some more data plans that we may not necessarily like. They're going to get more expensive. They have to. Uh, the other thing, though, that I noticed about 5G is they said even in typical environments, you're pulling down one gigabit per second. That's crazy. That's crazy speed. My home internet is 100. And I had to kind of work some magic to get my wife to even upgrade to that. So when you've got a cellular network that's 10 times what you've got at your home, I mean, I'm thinking there's got to be a way to just get the 5G on home networks, right? I mean, I've seen the devices, but I haven't really looked into them. And that may be a better way to go. That's really fast. So I was impressed with that. Uh, that being said, uh, with all the other features that were coming out, they also showed what the iPhone 12 uh, was capable of in terms of gaming. Um, they showed League of Legends. It was a pretty impressive demo. It looked good, but I'm not convinced. They, they say it's going to be console gaming. It's not going to be console gaming. I mean, you still have a touch screen. You still don't have the tactical joystick. You don't have any of that. So I can't imagine you're going to get the kind of control you get from a console or a PC with a touch screen you're just not the graphics might be on par the but i noticed they left out some key information they did not mention what the fps was on the new iphone 12 so i don't really know how smooth of a gaming experience you're really going to get it looked pretty good though but you know it's apple's demo so everything's going to look really good the next thing i have to say is the iphone 12 mini I really want one. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get my hands on one. Uh, I probably won't. I was pretty convinced I'm not gonna get an iPhone this year. I just got the iPhone 11 last year. So I don't have a very strong case for getting another iPhone, but that iPhone 12 mini, that's the size that I miss. I want a phone that I can use with one hand. I used to be able to use an iPhone with one hand. Then everybody went all gaga for these giant screens and they just don't make any sense to me. So I would love to have an iPhone 12 mini but what i was really impressed with was usually when they come out with the smaller form factors they compromise performance they take a bunch of features away so i was really happy to hear that apple actually is putting the same power in the iphone 12 mini as they are in the iphone 12 that's what kind of really sold me on it because i thought i'm going to be in one of those situations where but i really like the small one but it's so weak just give me the bigger one that seems to be a situation i've been in, in the past so that was really cool on Apple's part. Unfortunately, not everything they came out with I was uh, or that they announced I was exactly thrilled with. I thought it was actually funny. I laughed out loud when they started going 
off about the carbon footprint and how they're going to, you know, minimize, you know, their carbon footprint and all that. And their justification for that was, hey, everybody, you all have headphones and chargers anyway, so you're not getting another one. So, yeah. So now when you buy an iPhone, you don't get a charger. You don't get headphones. You don't get any of that. Uh, no adapter, no nothing. They're just giving you the phone because, well, you've already got them. So I thought that was kind of kind of shady because you're still paying the same price as you were for the other phone, but you're not getting any extra accessories. So I thought that was kind of funny. It's like, yeah, okay, you get nothing. Um, that's really all I got. Uh, if you... Uh, Want to make any comments? If you like the video, you want to subscribe, see what else I got. Um, we'd love, love to have you subscribe. Uh, so go ahead and like and subscribe when you get a chance. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.